Welcome back, everyone. I am the Moy Chicken, and we are back with more Donkey Kong Country Returns. And now we are going to Temple Topple, which is a fun thing to say. Temple Topple. I like that. We will topple the temple in Temple Topple. Uh, yeah, I think I remember this at this level. I want to say there's at least one level where you, like, keep smashing through, like, pillars or something. Oh, it's a Rambi block. Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna guess we're gonna find Rambi at some point. Um, and based on the name of this, I would not be surprised if this is the one I'm thinking of. Okay, take that. That actually reminded me a little bit of, um, in, like, the original Donkey Kong Country, uh, there was a part, there were some levels where you could, like, especially early on in the game, where you, if, if you use, like, a barrel cannon, you could just, like, skip the whole level. Uh, that's that, that's kind of what that made me think of a little bit. Bounce. I have, I have still not really gotten the hang of, like, bouncing yet. Okay. All right, we got Rambi. Um, I'm guessing Rambi... Never mind, I was gonna say, I'm guessing Rambi can't walk on spikes, but clearly I underestimated this rhinoceros. He does not care. <laughs> he does not care. I'm trying to think, is Rambi the only animal... No, he's not the only animal buddy, because Squawx is in this game too. But I think he might be the only animal buddy that you ride. For all that, again, I've never beaten the game, so I may be wrong in that regard. I may just not have gotten far enough, but... Um... Yeah, that seems kind of interesting, but I guess, I guess, uh... Since you were given other powers with Diddy, uh, they were probably just like, well, we'll just... We'll just stick one in there. God, jump through the burning ring of fire. Very important. Nice. Oh! Oh, I didn't, didn't know that was gonna happen. Okay. <laughs> didn't realize it was going to topple like that. I did not realize the temple would topple in the topple temple. Is this the temple of toppling? Perhaps it is. Who can say? Yeah, see, like, it, I get it sometimes and then not others. It's very frustrating. Alright, Rambi. Rambi. Rambi! You have to get up, Rambi. We're all, we're all counting on you, Rambi. Rambi! You have to get up. That's a joke that is sometimes made by Dan Abaddon on uh, Game Grumps. And I, I assume it's a reference to something, but I have no idea what it's a reference to. Yeah, there's that. He's like, Bambi, you have to get up, Bambi. Like, Bambi's like a boxer or something. <laughs> Bambi. We're all counting on you, Bambi. You have to win for the orphanage, Bambi. Bambi, you have to get up. Bambi! I, I assume it's from something. I... I have no idea what, though, so I should probably stop talking about it. Whatever. I only know it from Groom Grooms, so there's that. Oh. No! Rambi! Oh. Okay, yeah, you just get him back like you... Ah! Rambi! Rambi! You have to get up, Rambi! Alright, this guy is being a bit of a nuisance. Yeah, get some! Double! Nice! Give me that. Bubble! Yeah! <laughs> it's fun hitting stuff like that. Oh, okay. Wait, is he tired? Oh, I'm sorry, Rambi. I didn't think I'd make you make you exhausted. <laughs> Looks like he's <gasps> I missed the K! Oh no! That's unacceptable. We have to get the K. I gotta start the level over. We need the K. Yeah. Where can I have missed it? Normally they're pretty obvious. Like, for the most part, the... Yes? Phone? What do you want? Oh. Good news. My order is on its way. I may have to stop in the middle of this, this recording to eat food. Uh, or at least receive food. Um, but we will see. I know, I, like, as I was doing, I'm like, I... I don't know if it'll get here before I finish the recording or not, but maybe it will. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I was going to say, normally the uh, the Kong letters are pretty obvious, and the puzzle pieces are what are less obvious. But we didn't find the K. Which I find unacceptable. Gotta find the K. 
Because if we don't get Kong, we don't get the uh, bonus level. If we don't get the bonus level, I'm a downy frowny. And no one wants me to be a downy frowny, right? <laughs> oh, there we go. There's the keg. Got it. Okay, cool. So, the, these temple levels have the temple music from the original Donkey Kong Country, which, like, one of my favorite things about this remake, or this, not a remake, uh, game, return to the concept, I guess, um, is how they rehashed a lot of things. Like, you could say that's like, oh, well, that's not clever, they just reused things. But it's more like an homage than anything else, and I like that. I like it a lot. Um, especially in regards to the music. Oh, okay. Is there something I could have done there? Um, it's just kind of cool to hear all these original Donkey Kong Country beats again. I don't know if beats would be the right term in this instance, but the music, the music, the Donkey Kong Country music returns as well as the concepts. I don't know, I just feel like what, what this game kind of feels a little bit like is the same thing they did with, like, uh, with the, uh, the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy, which, I've, again, I've mentioned it before, I've been playing it recently, um, where, like, it, it, they sort, it, it seems like, in that case, I think it's, was it Toys for Bob? Is it toy, did they? No, Toys, Toys for Bob did, uh, It's About Time. Um, who did... Vicarious Visions, I think, did the uh, the Insane Trilogy. And just, like, the way that they kind of, uh, they, you know, they discarded things that they felt like weren't necessary anymore and retained things that were, that they decided were necessary, and there's something cool about that. I don't know. It's, like, it's, it's an interesting exercise to kind of, like, decide what do we still need in this series? It's also interesting to note that they decided they did not need uh, King K. Rule, so they got rid of the original antagonist. Which is questionable, but at the same time, I think K. Rule brought with him a lot of the strangeness. You know, like, for, for the Donkey Kong Country games that were released, like, after DKC1, um, there was a lot of, like, odd theming that happened. Um, that I attribute largely to the decision to use the Kremlings as the opponents. You know, like, in, in the second game, they decided, since uh, you fought K. Rule in, like, a, a, a pirate ship, it's like, okay, well, I guess maybe all of the Kremlings are pirates, so the second game's all about pirates, and then the third game has, like, you know, Dr. K. Rulenstein, or, yeah, Dr. K. Rulenstein, which is its own questionable decision. Um... So, like, yeah, kind of getting rid of K. Rule makes sense to some degree, but it would be nice if they could just sort of, like, re Sadness every day. Uh, if they could sort of, like, reimagine King K. Rule. I don't know. Alright, there's our bonus level. The Shifty Smashers. That sounds like fun and, like, a good time. I'm sure I will enjoy the Shifty Smashers. They will crush my bones, I'm sure. Woohoo! Huh? Oh, look! It's like a... It's it's the original Donkey Kong sprite. And then here's a sprite of him pooping out a fireball. That's cool, right? <laughs> Why is he pooping out a fireball? I love that. I like the idea that, like, the ancient Donkey Kong lore is like the original Donkey Kong game. Although, admittedly, that doesn't make sense considering Cranky Kong was the original Donkey Kong, so it's a little questionable, but it's still a neat touch. Good on you, Retro Studios. Uh oh, whoa. Okay, well, I get the shtick of this level. Narrow spaces. <laughs> oh, oh, it hurt slightly. Oh, I want that. Yeah, okay. 
I do like these kinds of levels. Like, this isn't my first time seeing a level like this where there's, like, squishing things and such. Um, I like the concept a lot, though. You know, we have to find, like, the spaces where you can stand before you get squished. It's, like, it's very nerve-wracking, but also cool. So, I like that idea. Oh, okay. I think I can just duck. Wait, what's the duck button? Down. Down is the duck button. Right. Uh. Okay. Uh. Uh. Oh, he's coming for me. Oh, Lord, he's coming. Okay. Here we go. I like the Donkey Kongs with the hearts, though. Those are kind of cute. He's just, Donkey Kong loves you! Yee! Ooh! 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 Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay. It, it actually kind of saved me. I was I was trying to get to the space where I would have been crushed. Oh, oh. Another funny thing about, like, this concept, the, like, squishing concept, is that it's entirely based on the idea that you, as the the player, have a different perspective that oh no, than the people in the trap. Oh good, we made it! Yay! Grab the thing! I did it! Yay! I love that face where he's just like he grabs one. He's like, yeah. Okay, this probably tells us how many levels there, how many worlds there are. So, eight worlds. Cool. Okay. I did not know that. I actually did not know how many levels, how many worlds this game had. <laughs> Which makes me wonder if I was ever even close to the end of the game. Alright, who is our boss this time in the Ruined Roost? 3B, the Ruined Roost. We'll find out what waits for us here. <laughs> Toss. Oh, yes? Oh, I'm here now. Oh, that thing's creepy looking. Oh, oh, it's Kazooie. Never mind. Well, it still could be Kazooie, actually. What what is your stick? Bombs. Okay. Oh, can I pick him up? Maybe I can pick him up. Yeah, I can pick him up. Okay. I threw that much further than I thought I would. Nope, not that one. Although maybe I could also bash him on the head, but not so. Dunk on it. Uh. Oh, not that one. Not that one either. Oh, that one had fire. Oh. Doggone it. Okay, well that went terribly. <laughs> that, that went abysmally. Let's try again. Eh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know, I know. I know, I know it. Let me skip. Okay, let's skip. There we go. Oh, there we go. Guess I just wasn't being proactive enough. I like how he, how the, the the bird has like a little crown. I like its little crown. Nope, not that one. Not that one either. Not that one either. None of those.
Also, what must this bird look like inside of that thing? Like, look at its little tiny, tiny limbs. It's very silly looking, this bird. Oh, oh uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> yee, yee, yee. Shiga, 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 shiga. Oh, fire! <laughs> oh, lots of bombs. Okay. Nope. Never mind. Ooh. No. Duck on it. Nope, not good. Uh, fire! Well, I got him. <laughs> sort of by accident, but I did get him. Uh, okay. No, don't do that. This guy's tricky. Ah, uh, the big bomb! Is tricky. It's a tough boss. Oh, oh yeah, foam. What? Um, my food here? No. Fifteen minutes away. Thank you for letting me know. It's like it told me that they had my food, and then it told me that it's fifteen minutes away. I don't know how, considering the place I ordered from is not fifteen minutes away, but I guess it's for the best for the recording. Definitely also the best for the recording for me to keep talking about it. <laughs> Can I get you, like, on a double? No. It's not. Bam! Well, that one's gonna blow. Swoop! Yeah. That's a cool, like, giant ape face in the background, too. I like that. Bam! Uh oh, fire! Let's get to the super bomb. Yep. Super bomb! Bam! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a little friend! Who's that? That's new! That's not something you did before. Like, I'm coming up with all kinds of new moves! You ain't ready for bird, guy! Ow, oh, I overshot it. Boo. The giant bomb. Oh, no, don't shoot out little... little bomb friend. Oh, there's my food. Hang on. <laughs> Give me a sec. Food acquired. Uh, bomb friend's still here, though. All right, dude. Okay, he does that. Bam! Ah, got him! Hehe, <laughs> sucker! Oh no! My pot! Oh, well, that's what he looks like. Uh, a little bit gross. Get ready for it! And pot! Yeah, baby! <laughs> There's <laughs> something so fun about the fact that they let you just kind of smack the crap out of the boss at the end. Especially considering they're all, like, hypnotizing other things to do their bidding. It's fun that they get theirs at the end, too, so. Broken. DK. Alright, cool. Well, we're moving on to the cave next, so I hope you got you guys will come back and join me for that. I am the Boy Dragon, and this has been Donkey Kong Country Returns. And thank you- oh wait, hang on, I can- I can free look? Let me free look, yeah. Okay, so there's like- there's the cave is a level, the forest is a level, the purple smoke is a level, the gray smoke is a level, and then I guess the volcano is a level, so. I suppose that's what we have left. 
So come back and join me for more. I am the Mojang, and this has been Donkey Kong Country Returns. And thank you for stopping by. Mm -hmm.